So I want to show you some doubles volley placement options. A lot of players, they mess this up every time they're at the net and they get a volley, they automatically go right at the other net player. But you want to be careful of this unless you have an offensive opportunity. The worst thing that I can do is if the baseline player hits to me, I go right at the net player and I pop it up to them. Now they're smashing at me, smashing it at me, ending the point. So I want to pick and choose when I actually hit at that net player depicted by that red cone. So if my opponent hits a pretty good shot where I don't have a lot of time or the ball's low, I should go back to his half of the court probably 95% of the time. So whether that means hitting a drop volley towards the yellow cone or hitting deeper towards the green cones, I want to go back to his side of the court because he can hurt me less than the opposing net player can. So we'll show you what that looks like. If he hits pretty well at me, I just hit it right back to him. Right? Just live to fight another day. And then if he pops one up though, right now I can go right at the net player there because I'm looking to end the point. If I'm feeling really confident, I could try to hit a drop volley winner, but at least it's not risky in terms, it's, in terms of it's not gonna get smashed by him if he gets to it, unless I just pop it straight up. So those are good shots by him, so I just keep going back to him. And now I had an aggressive shot, so then I smashed it at the net player's feet. Right, I don't wanna hit it high at the net player because then they could also defend it potentially by just sticking their paddle there. But if I can get it right around their feet, that's almost unreturnable. One more time. Now, a lot of you might like your forehand volley better than your backhand volley. So even if you get a high backhand volley, I would still recommend going back to the baseline player. If you're not confident, you can place it well or get a lot of power by going at that net player. So oftentimes that shot to end the point is a high forehand volley where we have a lot of time and then we can go right at that net player's feet.